I think the Orphan Drug Act certainly put forth that rare diseases are an opportunity that people should work on, but by itself, it wasn't really enough to move things forward. There's several other things that happened that I think are quite important. And one that most people don't really recognize is that to make a complex biologic product to treat a rare disease takes a lot of money. And until the ability to obtain high reimbursement for some products occurred, like for Ceridase or Cerazyme, the probability of being able to make a financial case for treating some of these rare diseases didn't exist. As Ceridase and Cerazyme did well and changed lives with Gaucher patients, it opened the door then to other ultra rare diseases like MPS1, getting the financial requirements that are needed to take a product from science to the clinic when the drug itself is a complex biologic. So along with the Orphan Drug Act and the, and the financial progress that occurred in, in interest in investing in rare diseases came new technology as well. And I think lately, it's not just enzyme or protein replacement, it's been novel types of small molecules, it's been oligonucleotides, it's been gene therapy, and more. And all these technologies now are opening the door to more and more diseases that were previously untreatable. And so the combination then of those factors, the regulatory policy environment, the financial support, as well as the technological advance, advancements put us in a position of changing the future for rare diseases. Music